This is a book view for this book. Um, in this witty, intimate memoir, Charlotte shares her experiences and insights on dating, breaking up and starting over again. It wasn't an easy journey, but now happily settled with the bow, has Charlotte finally reached the coveted status of the one? I like it, brilliant. Well, let me tell you a story. I've been in a relationship for nine years. Ooh, but then it finished, and last year was my debut year onto the soup dating. <gasps> so it was my year to understand men. Let me tell you on that one. No, let me not tell you. But suffice to say, I, I went to Tesco one day. And I was in a total, I need to understand these blokes mood. And I went on a chick lit book buying binge. And this is one of the books I got. My last chick lit stack of books I got has actually sat on the shelf for quite a few months now. Because, you see, I don't usually buy chick lit novels. Because I'm not really attracted to the type of novel that's like this. Little ditzy woman, she goes off to Lanzarote, walking along the beach, she meets Stavros, tanned, tall, dark, handsome. A sexy fawn on the beach, sand down the cleavage, the wakes. Then one day, she falls off a donkey, and Argon catches her. Short, stout, but with a kind heart. A love affair begins, what well, she doesn't know is Stavros and Argon are siblings. <gasps> She's torn between two brothers, what's she gonna do? Ah, how about she lies back, gets tan and thinks of ice cream. Now, I'm not into that kind of novel. So, this chitlet boot by binge was sort of the more classy side of chitlet. But unfortunately, these books sat on my shelf for quite a while, because I wasn't really in the frame of mind to read them. Well, the other day I picked up this, and to be honest, I didn't realise it was non-fiction. So I started to read it, and it wasn't quite what I expected, so I was a bit like, I was a bit like, what the heck's this? What's going on? Because basically, it was a lot. It's a lot more rambly than I expected, but it's brilliant. It's like a long rambling, drunken gossip down the pub with the best advice from girlies and blokes. But it's like a self-help book for people who don't like self-help books. It's a great big gossip, and I wasn't sure about the author at first, so I love. But I gradually warm to it, especially because mm, she's a lot like uh, the way she likes like romance movies and goes all gooey over them. I totally do that, even the tiniest thing. So, oh, oh, even like on Corrie, when something sweet happens on Corrie on soaps. So, and the way she, um, read the star signs and chucks out the crap ones like I read that, I, I read all my star signs and all the magazines, that's the first thing I go to, first thing I go to. So it's like, mm hmm Yeah, you're gonna get a snog this week. Oh brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably gonna eat you this week. Oh yeah, but that that's crap anyway. So yeah, I totally do that. And she's a bit O C D as well and I like and she's admits to being a bit nuts and I'm a bit like that so I totally warm to the author and I think this is a really good if the youngsters wanting to understand the dating scene and men and women I totally recommend you read this so that is my book review for this week. I really love it and I'm really pleased to bought it.
and I really think you should buy it. Yay!